Want to create cool neon text effects in your videos? Well stick with me because in this quick 5 minute video tip, I'll show you how. Hey, I'm Donna Moritz from Socially Sorted and I help businesses get more traffic, shares and sales using visual storytelling. This is a series of quick 5 minute video tips to help you level up your video game. Now if you're new to this channel, hit subscribe below and as always, all the links to the good stuff are in the description below. Let's jump in. Now I'll be using wave.video to show you how to create these text effects. There's a link for the tool below in the description. But first, what is a neon text effect? Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to open this webinar template. And before I edit it, I'm just going into add photos and videos. And I'm going to search on neon sign because that is exactly what neon text effect is. Now here's a selection of neon signs that pop up when I search in Wave and this is the effect that we're looking for, the neon sign. Now if I click on this one here, you can see that glow that is around the border. That's what we're trying to create with a neon text effect or that glow or neon glow. So let's jump in to our editor on the template. We're going to use this template to create a neon nights event or an ad or a social post. So I'm going to edit this here first. And then change this and I'm going to copy this text down because I want to get oops I just put that into caps so we'll go back to normal and then I want to copy this for another text section bring this down the bottom okay so now that I have my text let's change out the fonts to be something a little bit more neon text like so I'm going to change my font to something like this. And once I change the font the first time, it pops up at the top here for me to choose again. Homanache or homanage, I'm not sure how to say that. And there it is again. So I've done that three times. I can now change this text size if I want and center it a little bit. I'm going to change this to caps just because it will be a little bit more bold and make that a bit bigger. So that's pretty much the basis of my design. And now we get to play around with neon. Now with any text effects in wave.video, you have to click on the text first and then the tools you need will pop up to the right hand side. So in this case, we're looking for text color as well as the shadow tool. Now I'm going to leave these white for now and see how that looks. But what I want to do is come in and do the neon effect with the shadow tool. So I click shadow and this brings up my color palette. Now I have options of no shadow or drop shadow, soft, hard or glow. Then I have blur, the distance from the actual letter that the shadow of is uh, is falling and also the angle at which it falls. So you can do a lot with this. What I'm going to do is drag this over to a color and I'm actually going to choose a pink color as bright and neon like as I can. So I want really bright colors for neon. Now at the moment we don't have any of these selected but I'm going to select glow. Now very faintly you can see a glow there so I'm going to just enhance that a little bit with blur and I'm going to give it a little bit of distance as well and as you can see you start to get the glow. Now the thing is I've chosen pink here but I haven't chosen pink with my dot. So see how if I drag that across I go from a white glow to a pink glow. And there's my neon effect. Now I can play around with angles. I can have the angle going up or to the side or down. So I might just leave it like that. I can play around with the distance so it can be like really way out. And these things can look very effective, but you just need to be a little bit careful that you don't overdo it. So I'm just going to go moderate this time and that is how you create cool neon text effects now you can play around with some of these other settings like hard drop shadows obviously if i wanted to do that i would just pull that back a bit and make it subtle sometimes less or well, always less is more with drop shadows depending on what you're trying to do but with glow uh it's pretty easy to do a neon glow effect with these tools Let's see how this looks. I'm just going to center that. All right, now I'm going to get rid of this section here because I don't really need it. And then I could add my aquarium.com website in there. 
but I'm just going to drag this across and preview it. Let's hit play. Okay, I'm happy with that. It has some cool neon vibe. Now, I just wanna show you one more quick example. So here's one that I had some fun with. It's a Star Wars theme. I created this uh, as a demo, as part of a video on this channel about using different features of Wave to lift your videos. And I've added the link to that in the description below if you want to go into more detail. But this is just really fun. I've just pulled the green color out from the lightsaber or you could go and drag this up and try different colors here. One great thing about this slider is you can test to see what colors look like. So that's a great way to find a quick alternative. I like, I like that there. So that's really how easy it is. There's nothing too hard about using neon text effect. Uh, I would say that it's best to go with bright colors that you see in neon signs. So yellows and oranges, blues, uh, greens and pinks, that sort of thing. And really, I'm resisting the urge to say that it will light up your videos. Well, there, I did it. I did it. But they will honestly uh, lift your videos so you can have some fun with them. That's it for this little demo. I will look forward to seeing what you create with Neon. Hey there, if you like this five minute quick video editing tip, then you're in luck. There's more videos in the series. Check out the videos to the side and I will see you in the next one.